This Southern California story begins in typical fashion with sun, surf, sand, and fish tacos. Wahoo's fish tacos, that is. The fast casual restaurant chain, which first catered to the surfer crowd, is known for its healthy Mexican eats, infused with Brazilian and Asian flavors. A reflection of Wahoo's founders, Chinese Brazilian brothers Wing Lam, Ed Lee, and Mingo Lee. People still, every so often, goes, how do Chinese people sell Mexican food? But they forget that we're Brazilians, you know, we're, we're not your traditional Asians, Americans. So when you tell people you're from Brazil, they're like, oh, it makes a little sense. Then it goes, oh, you grew up surfing. Well, that makes more sense. But the story of these surf-loving brothers actually started well before they opened their first Wahoo's Fish Taco Stand in Costa Mesa, California, 30 years ago. In 1950, their father, Chung Kwan Lee, fled China for Hong Kong in search of a better life for his family. His wife and son stayed behind. Lee ended up in Brazil, but hope faded that his family would reunite. His wife, however, didn't give up, even after 10 years apart. Ever since my first child was born, he had not seen his father much at all, so I decided to go to him. We went to Hong Kong, then to Brazil. It was a tough time because the political environment in China did not allow us to travel freely. But we made it to Brazil, reunited with my husband and had our four other children. Eventually, the family moved to sunny California and opened up Chinese restaurant Shanghai Pine Garden. Things were tough at the start, but then movie star John Wayne changed everything. Oh, John Wayne. John Wayne and about 45 friends came to the restaurant to celebrate his wife's birthday. John asked if I could sing, so I sang some Chinese opera. Everybody had a great time that day, and they really enjoyed the food. From that day forward, the crowd started pouring in. By the way, Lee can still belt out that song he sang for John Wayne. <laughs> The restaurant was a family affair. Sons Wing, Ed, and Mingo worked while going to school, and of course, surfing anywhere they could, including Mexico, where fish tacos were the go-to meal for surfers. For the brothers, the beloved tacos inspired a business idea, but it wasn't embraced right away back home. All of our friends were going, uh, you guys gotta be nice, because they, what they were imagining is a tortilla with a fish head and a fish tail sticking out of it. It took a lot of convincing that it was not that. It was like a filet. They also made it their own by adding Brazilian-style rice and beans and Asian flavors. But just like their father's struggles in the beginning, the brothers also had a tough go, until a chance to cater an event for surf company Billabong came along. We needed one brand to put a flag on the ground that said Wahoos is the place for surfers to go. We couldn't say it, a surf company needed to say it. So when Billabong put their flag in our restaurant, the other companies and the other surfers all came. Now, 30 years on, there are some 60 Wahoo's restaurants in seven states and Japan, with more to come. Revenues in 2017 topped $65 million. We still love doing everything that we do because it's fun to see people telling you that it's their favorite food. I mean, every day we'll run into somebody that says, oh my God, when my wife was pregnant, when my kid went to college, all these crazy stories where this is the place that they, it's home for them. So it, it tells you that we did something right. You really can't help but be inspired by this family that immigrated and made it really big here in the United States. But now all this talk of food is making me really hungry. So I'm digging in. Mainly CGTN, Newport.